Hello everybody, I'm back in OpenTTD. I'm making this video for a couple reasons. Uh, first, I haven't done anything in OpenTTD for quite a long time. Uh, and the second is that I have a problem and I'm looking for an answer. <coughs> this is a old design that I used a couple, more than a couple times in the past and it was always working. This is working right now. <coughs> But I had an issue uh, with a couple things over here. Uh, this is station design a long time ago by a legendary, in my opinion, player, Lopo. He was a genius. <coughs> and uh, when I built this station over here, I've got uh, two problems. One with the 90 degrees turns. And the second, uh, there's a Pathfinder issues that I cannot understand right now. It wasn't work. The station till I build <laughs> this. Uh, let me turn off the transparency for trees. Uh, so I built this and uh, it started to work over here and after that it started to work over here. But before that I've got the crashes all the time over here. So before I built this, this station didn't work. But we will talk about this later uh, and actually the main reason I'm doing that this is uh, this feeder uh, I've got those feeders at every station that is uh, that's the at the town that is above the snow line because we need to deliver food and uh, we need to deliver food once a month at least once a month you can deliver much more but it doesn't count so uh, it's enough to deliver one ton of food in order this town to grow uh, if you can see right now we have a more than 3000 population and we started with a less than a 600 no 800 so now it grows quite rapidly and quite nicely but uh, you need to deliver each month at least one ton of food <coughs> so I made a timer which actually has a tree function in it and we will talk about this uh, in the first place uh, but just uh, so uh, I just want to show that map we have a two big black uh, four ways backbone hubs uh, because I expected I'm expecting quite heavy traffic uh, of it's growing right now. We've got right now 200 trains and we still need more now because because we have more and more uh, This is growing rapidly. This is already more than a thousand uh, It started with a 200 now we have a, a thousand this one as well almost a thousand so the production goes up rapidly up uh, need to rebuild the stations because uh, we need more effective stations over here and so the traffic is growing uh, so far backbone hubs work very well this is kind of empty because the most of the traffic goes this way right now but it will change probably soon so we start with the feeder why I want to have a feeder? Uh, it's the problem with our uh, subarctic climate is that uh, in order town to grow, I need to deliver uh, a food for all towns that are uh, located above snow line, like in this case. And uh, the rule is that I need to deliver at least one ton of food each month. I mean, uh, if I want to if I want my town to grow next month, I need to deliver before that month at least one ton of food. And no matter how many cargos I will deliver, how many food I will, how much food I will deliver, it will anyway counts as one. So I can deliver five times, uh, five thousands, but it will count as one. If I don't deliver anything, the next month my town will not grow. Uh, so at the beginning of the game when we start a game with the slow trains and especially in such extreme situation like I have over here where the, the, the way is very long from the food plant uh, where is my station uh, to this town and it takes much longer than a month so I wanted to have a feeder that will 
let's say secure deliveries for the next months and I have over here waiting bay for two trains it means that I'm securing the food delivery for the next two months now even if I deliver the food th and the town will grow it will grow slow uh, to get the, to speed up the, the town uh, growth I need to build inside the town a service transport service so I built the transport service based on uh, based on uh, buses uh, with a timetable and uh, those uh, services uh, are in each actually town and they work actually perfectly for many many years so all those buses they working without any delays for quite a long time if you're interested how to make such a bus service uh, on based on timetable just please ma watch my old video about timetables which is on my channel now do we need such a complicated situation like I have over here in order to deliver the food to the town of course not uh, you just can just build a simple transfer station or uh, that's one of the possibilities just build one transfer station out of the town and then connect it with the uh, lorry service uh, so you will deliver let's say a new use one or maybe two uh, uh, lorries to deliver the food that you transfer to the station to the town and that would be simple very simple but uh, that simplicity of this is just not cool not for me I, I don't like such a thing so I like the crazy stuff designs so I do I built my network with such a things and I prefer this way uh, so uh, yeah choice is yours and uh, I have more fun building uh, the way I do why I say that this feeder uh, is three functional feeder the first we've got a timer that uh, uh, will help us deliver at least one cargo each month so the next month the town will grow and uh, the second is that for example when we at, especially at the beginning of the game when we don't have many trains like it is right now so we have no trains coming uh, so the timer actually counts only when only after we deliver the food uh, so for example right now we can consider that the timer passed we didn't get any trains and now instead of uh, this train start counting new period which will prevent another train to enter the station because that this entry signal will be read uh, we have a situation that thanks to this design this train uh, is not allowed to get onto the station and start measuring new period so a period so uh, right now this is a situation that we allow any trains that will come over here to get on the station let me disconnect the fail safe system so we see exactly what is going what should going uh, at the beginning of the game so we have a two branches at this junction one leads to the waiting bay and then to the station and second by passing that's the another functionality by passing this uh, waiting bay and go straight to the station so now this one is close the left hand side that by passing the waiting bay the train uh, over here is let's say the first train that is coming in the game let me stop this one uh, so now we have a situation that the train approaches this empty waiting bay uh, and the time already passed uh, it's 25th April so we getting directly to the station and from this moment when we just pass this block uh, the detection system detected that there is a train and there is delivery and it allowed this train from the timer loop get on the station and start a new period of 28 days why 28 days uh, because if I have like say 30 days or 31 days uh, it's highly possible that one day I will miss uh, February for example if I deliver uh, food at the 31st and I have 30 or 31 days I will not deliver anything uh, it is possible that I will not deliver anything in February and it means that March will not 
allow me to grow my town. And if I have 28 days, even if I deliver on 31st January, I will have at least one delivery in February. So the March will be, uh, uh, during a March, the town will be growing. Now, if I have 28, there are months that you will deliver at least twice, because if you deliver on 1st of January, the next delivery is on 28th. Uh, January so we have a two but it does count as a one uh, so that's uh, let's say uh, that's functionality uh, of that timer 28 days now I have over here the waiting bay uh, let me pause the game and uh, release this train for two trains so uh, when those trains uh, so why I have this waiting bay because I want to secure delivery for the next actually two months uh, so right now uh, we waiting for the tr uh, at the those trains at the waiting bay waiting for the to be released by the timer as you can see we have right now more trains so they those trains are coming over here and I don't want them to wait for 28 days I will be much longer wait uh, so I want them to come back to work uh, as soon as possible so I have this uh, bypass which is a next functionality so when we have a full waiting bay we allowing the trains to go to the station uh, without waiting for the timer because no matter how many deliveries we will do it counts as a one and when I deliver that that cargo I will get some money and my train will empty will be empty and go back to work and pick up next cargo especially after a certain time in the game you will get enough uh, uh, food to collect from your station and deliver somewhere else so it's better just to unload the car somewhere I mean uh, the train and get some money and uh, send it back to pick up something else and we are pretty sure that we secure at least one month and in my case I can secure two months for the food deliveries. Now we're almost at the end about the feeder. Uh, last more thing of the so-called fail safe mechanism which is over here built and allows this actually feeder to work almost perfectly. Uh, so why we need a fail safe mechanism because we can be at a situation like it is right now I hope it is going to work that we have a train that is approaching this junction it got the green entry signal it got the right way to waiting bay close and it got green signal uh, by passing the waiting bay so this train should go uh, right it is now and get on this junction and then turn left but at the same time the first train is almost removing itself from the waiting bay and we have some kind of uh, detection system that will recognize the situation and it will shut the bypass in order to get another train to waiting bay so now without the fail safe mechanism let's disconnect it it should work I hope it will work this way uh, let me start those two trains let me stop this one as well it stopped okay so let's have a look what's going to happen yeah that's what I wanted actually I hope it's going to work now so what we have right now our train that approached this junction passed the, the, the entry signal turn left it got still green signal it goes and the train uh, in the waiting bay the first one is leaving the waiting bay uh, it's too late okay so let's make it this way so we just reverse the strain and reverse it once again and what's happened <coughs> well, that's about the timing <coughs> what's happened right now uh, because we've got that red signal over here because we have only one train in the waiting bay we can release this one now because we're waiting for the time uh, oh no uh, so yeah so even if this train moves and open this 
let me stop it now because we need to stop it it opened this way this one will now be stuck over here forever uh, the only way is to make it uh, actually manually yeah to, to release this train from the signal manually so that's why we need a fail safe now that fail safe is working this way that uh, let me reverse or uh, maybe not because so if I connect this one yes so now it this signal looks not only into this signal but as well into this signal just before uh, we touched this six this signal we've got red over here yes so that was uh, because the train was over here it was red and uh, so if they both were red this one was red but now we removed the tail from this block and now this week that one got green and thanks to that now we can just go and that's it our train is released our junction is released it's uh, and uh, everything is unlocked and uh, our uh, feeder is back to normal so that's why we needed to fail safe uh, we have a fail safe in every situation they they looks a bit different depends on the on the layout uh, this one is as well a bit different so all those feeders are a bit different uh, the, but they work in the same way so we needed it as well so three functionality for the feeder uh, timer uh, allowing uh, when there is no train it stop timing uh, counting the time and it will start uh, oh this one is stopped <laughs> so that's why it's not working uh, and it's uh, dimer it starts uh, counting only when we deliver the foot and then the bypass with the fail safe so that's what we've got over here uh, now to have a look those two elements looking uh, circuits looks like eight that's a not gate if you wonder how this is working please watch my video uh, I've got over the uh, not gate with one train uh, you can use a not gate with the two trains that would be smaller that would be just a simple no, no, it's not a simple uh, maybe it's a simple it just depends how you look at it how much experience you are so that would be not gate uh, with the two trains but I prefer one train it looks ugly but it's working perfectly uh, now the timer is built that way that we have over here uh, this is combo signal this is exit signal exit signal over here we have uh, uh, entry signal and this is combo signal as well uh, that belongs to not gate so if you don't know just please watch that video that's explain everything and the timer is built on 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 timetable uh, go from the station to the waiting point and uh, uh, do it and wait at the station for 28 days you can make it with the ticks so that's about the timer and uh, now I would like to show you the problems that I've got with uh, this station so let's have a look at this interesting station it's unusual for me uh, it's based or built with the puff signals only and the blocking signals uh, usually I use pre signals and so on so on but uh, uh, that's an old design made by a legendary and genius player in my opinion uh, Lopo one of my favorites uh, I use the station uh, not many times but uh, more than a couple times uh, and in different versions of the game and uh, I've done it before in this version of the game uh, and for some reason it didn't work over here but what we have over here first let's have a look uh, so we have over here one-way path signals uh, two-way path signals one-way path signals on the left hand side we have the trains that delivering uh, the goods it could be transfer uh, in my case we deliver wood uh, to the paper mill over here and on the right hand side we have a trains that are coming empty and they will pick up after we dropped uh, the goods from the station so in our case paper and the the, the station uses uh, let's say reserve uh, path system to do it and uh, we have a very strange um, trains that goes uh, across 
this this uh, logic trains that go across those tracks and they they should work and they work in over here right now but they didn't work uh, in my case before so that's what I want to address now so this is similar station uh, and uh, we have a first problem 90 degrees turn and it happened only with this one train the only one train just turned right which is uh, it's beyond me I, every, every, everything is the same for bitter trains from making 90 degrees turns is on so the the top train it doesn't turn the bottom train doesn't turn and the middle train it will just turn right in a moment um, boom it's it's turn and we have a crash so that's the first thing none of those trains go uh, and turn right now we're going to have another crash which is so as you can see the first one went well on the on the bottom line and now we're going to have another train and this one so we, s we will stop at this signal over here uh, let me, uh, yeah. and now if you look at this now why this train start moving having a train over here I have no idea so that's actually uh, another problem uh, over here uh, which is beyond me if there is anything anybody wise in this matter please explain me what is happening why those things happen here and do not happen on the other map uh, it's beyond me so now this is the station that I built uh, in my game yeah and this is the moment when I created that uh, right hand side connections yes so that's everything is built filled with the trains and, uh, uh, and we still don't have this the let's say that trial loop that I made later so it's not over here so I've done it so it's exactly the same like it is looks like now in my game uh, and I'm releasing the trains so there's no difference and bam bam and bam it's not working so what's happened then I uh, reloaded the game and I built and I built the and I built this with the one platform because I was just curious if there's something wrong with my settings or something uh, what I've done over here and uh, after I build it this one is working perfectly uh, and uh, so okay settings must be right uh, of course I don't understand why that train turn uh, turn 90 degrees I don't know but this is working so I came back over here yes and uh, what I've done I disconnected those uh, three lines uh, then I okay let's connect one so you did that what platform worked over them so maybe this one one will work as well so I connected this one and it started to work uh, okay let's try the second platform I connected the second platform uh, the line and it was start working and then third it start working it's like <sighs> the pathfinder, pathfinder needed just an example how it's supposed to work of course this is huge bullshit <laughs> sorry for saying so uh, and then okay I will work okay I now now I understand and I'm going to work it looks exactly this way it's like I needed to show the pathfinder which is stupid because I don't believe it happened so I'm just looking for an answer why this didn't work before and now it's working uh, why it is working after I built this uh, if there is somebody who wise in this matter please let me know okay uh, so uh, I hope that this vi this video was quite interesting uh, uh, that you like my network uh, and uh, that you like the, the, the feeder uh, and uh, that you like the station that B Lopo built long time ago and, uh, and that we have an interesting problem to solve okay uh, 
So I hope you like it and um, see you in the next video. And I hope someone will provide the answer, the right one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.